Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog. My name is Ryan. I make videos every single Wednesday and Sunday and I post them at 6pm. Where today we are saying goodbye to the home that we've been living in for the last five months. And I'm going through every single drawer making sure we have not left anything behind. I'm even checking under the bed. But as I make one last climb to the top floor where Benjamin slept, this place has served as home for quite some time. And there are many aspects of this place that I will actually miss. Apart from the last day where someone broke into my car. Which you think I would have heard considering how thin these windows are. That is one thing I'm really just not going to miss. You can literally hear people walking outside the building. And yeah, like I said, you'd think I would have heard it, but it was like three o'clock in the morning. I looked out the window, I didn't see anything. I'm really going to miss this massive wardrobe that we have in here. And the big old shower that we used. But I think we've got everything from upstairs. There's just a few things left lying around the lounge and the dining area in the kitchen especially. And we need to bring with us like the freezer stuff, but we are beginning to run out of space in the car. Anyways, it's time to say goodbye to the first house we technically have lived in. And a hello to home. Yeah, we've got quite a bit to do today. But before we deal with that, we need to install that. And I'm thinking this should be fairly simple, just a few screws into the wall and then yeah, just place it on there. The only thing I'm actually concerned about is that I'm drilling into tile which from experience of putting up these shelves and stuff like that is no easy feat. Now, that being said, I do have masonry like drill bits, so I'm hoping that should be fine. But yeah, we're just gonna take our time, do it, fit it all, and then clean it, because it definitely needs like new silicon and cleaning. All right, in the box, we've got everything that we could possibly need. But the first thing we need to do is unscrew the old one. Then connect the new one up and measure it up there, making sure that it's all level. And now that we've got that marked up, I need to drill a hole. Well, drilling through this tile is no joke. I'm sweating my ass off, but it's time to put a plug in, which if doesn't fit, I'll be very disappointed. Sweet. And then we just screw it in. Beautiful. And now that I've done that, I am realizing that there was actually another drill bit I could have used. Four tiles, wasn't aware until after the fact, but this should go on there perfectly, which it does. Now we just need to add these bits and we should be golden. And then hopefully if we turn this on and pull that up, uh, water should come out. Which after turning this thing, it does. All right, now that we've got the shower installed, it's time to do the toilet seat. But I'm gonna save you the trauma of having to watch me do that. So I'll be back when I have it finished. And after a lot of fiddling later, we have ourselves a new toilet seat. And then I got so caught with just doing things, I forgot to film anything. But I've added some new silicon around the taps because the old stuff was manky. I know it's not perfect, but that's the first time I've done that. So I think it turned out all right. I just need to put some like bleach on the grout here, like let it soak and clean off as much as the dirt that's on the grout as possible. Need to look up what you use on that because I've seen loads of TikToks about it before, but yeah, that's dirty, so it needs cleaning. But for the most part, I consider the bathroom a job well done. A few days later, I've had a haircut and I've chilled out a little bit because this has been stressing me out, but I think it is about time that I clean this mess up. And this mess up, and all of this mess. And to do that, we're gonna need this. So I can listen to soothing ocean sounds or something as I tackle the mess that we've created in our home, because it's nice to be back, but uh, man, it's a headache. So kick back and enjoy super fast, all right. Okay, well it might not seem like much progress has been made, but we are getting somewhere. Whilst Jess has been organizing her clothes, I have been sifting through boxes, emptying those and organizing them as well. That way I have a better place to store all of the cables that I have, because I have a lot of them and they're not worth throwing away. Uh, and like my old PC and stuff like that. A lot of people have been wondering like where Jess is gonna store her clothes because obviously if we make our way to the bedroom, you'll notice that we've not really figured out any storage for Jess's clothes. I currently use a wardrobe in Benjamin's room, which has got all of my clothes in it. And Jess stores all of her stuff 
in here. So now that she's organized her clothes into things that she's gonna wear for now and stuff that she probably won't wear till, you know, like winter next year, I think it's time that I go and put all these clothes away for her. And I'm willing to bet money that they don't stay folded. But that's all organized for now. And for the first time in a while, the bench is basically clear. However, the same can't be said for the rest of the lounge because a lot of this stuff has no home. These four boxes are for Jess to organize and they're kind of split up into like makeup and her gaming setup. But this stuff is like outdoorsy things like camping gear as well as like our raincoats and waterproofs and stuff like that honestly we've considered really heavily investing into like a storage unit because obviously when you're in a flat you don't get a lot of space to store things uh, and i've also considered putting like shelves across the ceiling however i know that after moving the light from there to there that the ceiling is kind of floating it is essentially a plasterboard that has been dropped and it is like hanging or suspended from the ceiling and i know factually that if i was to try and fit shelving up on the wall even if i screwed into the studs it wouldn't hold the weight of the stuff that we want to put on it it'd be more like decor that would go up there uh, and like things like that. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to hang things from the ceiling as nice as that would be. So for now, this kind of stuff has to stay here until we find somewhere more permanent for it to go. And as I said, the storage unit might be the solution for that, but it's a lot of money to rent out a storage unit every single month. So yeah, we'll have to see. However, for now, I am starting to reclaim my home. And one of the things I do need to do is associate with those boxes. And that is to go into Jess's like office space where she has successfully organized all of her crafting things and basically set up a desk because I am going to be streaming in here. And whilst yes, I do have a space for that here with obviously all of my gear, the time of day that I will be streaming predominantly in like the afternoon slash evening is around dinner time. And one of the things I hate is being at that desk when the kitchen's in use and the lounge is busy and stuff like that. It's very hard for me to either A, concentrate on work and B, like stream because I'm obviously on a microphone and stuff like that and I'm on camera. So instead of being in a busy environment where it gets really noisy and, and you know, hot as well because of the kitchen being right behind me, I get to stream here in a very pink environment instead, which I don't care for. It's, it's just somewhere for me to be able to do my work. On that same token, Jess also really likes gaming and stuff like that. That's why she has a gaming PC. So I need to set this up for her as well. One of the first things I need to fix is like this big gaping gap between the two models because that will drive me insane. And to do that, I think I'm going to have to detach one of these like arms and make it shorter. Well, that is already looking loads better. I just need to add this into here. Fuck again, oh. <laughs> and then... We've got ourselves a microphone. I don't normally have that issue. And now that I have most of the wires plugged in that I'm going to need, I think I'm missing one. And thanks to my organization skills, it should be in this box. Perfect. But right, the plan was with Jess's desk and her gaming PC was to put it on the wall up there because it gives you a bit more desk space and I think it would be nice if it was sitting on the wall. However, I don't have the bracket for that right now. And in order to make the best of the space that she's got, because she uses a work laptop here quite often, we're going to be using this, which is basically a little tray for the PC to sit on to keep it lifted from the carpet. That way we can just slide it right there in the back. So it's on the floor, it's raised up off the carpet. It's not great by any means, but it'll do for now. But speaking of Jess's computer, I actually need to go in and change that Elgato card right there for a 4K one, which if I look in this box, we should find exactly what I'm looking for. Aha, there it is. All we need to do is take the old one out, and literally slot the new one in. Genuinely very easy work. The only downside to the PC being here is that you can't see inside it anymore. So yeah, that's a shame. But hopefully that works. Fingers crossed. Well, I don't think I've ever seen a Windows update on a pink background before. I suppose it fits with everything else in here. But I believe that is done. Really can't wait to stream in here. But oh boy, I am absolutely pooped. Honestly, I think moving and working and streaming and everything that i've got going on at the moment like not to mention all the stuff that's behind the scenes maybe i'll talk about it in that in the next vlog i think it is finally catching up on me and i'm just i'm, I'm shattered i look down the corridor and i don't think we've even achieved that much even in the lounge it's doesn't look much better either way we've made a little bit of progress and as i said i think in the next vlog, I'm due a little bit of a break. And I know I've been going you know, super hard with like the DIY and the renovations and moving home and stuff like that. But it's been non-stop for the best part of like three, four months now. And I think I deserve a little bit of a break. So I believe in the next vlog, we're going to be going away and staying in a absolutely stunning 
holiday home, uh, which I can't wait to share with you guys. So keep your eyes peeled for that and hit the subscribe button down below. We are slowly on the way to 25K and we're getting closer with every vlog. But I will just say for all those people who have tuned in to follow along with the renovations and moving in, Thank you so much for like dropping by my channel, subscribing and enjoying the content. It's been really nice to read your feedback and follow along and even take your advice with a lot of the stuff that I've been doing. So thank you so much for leaving all of your comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please leave it a thumbs up, Ray. And I'm sorry it was a bit all over the place, but as I say, my head is a bit... <laughs> a bit jumbled and I think I just need a bit of a break before we commence the next project being probably the corridor that needs to be done next because yeah I don't really want to live like this but we are edging ever so closer to uh, the end of DIY and renovations we've got a couple of things lined up in the future and uh, I've got some really really special things in the works behind the scenes that I cannot wait to share with you genuinely this year and what I've got planned may turn out to be one of the most epic years yet despite the downward spiral that we had at the end of last year and the beginning of this year. I've really got a lot of things that I'm looking forward to coming up. So I hope you stay tuned and, uh, and keep watching and look forward to that. I can't reveal anything yet, but I promise you it's going to be worth it. But anyways, guys, it's been Orion. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, much love. Bye-bye.